Hello, my amazing, beautiful, dope ass souls. It's your girl, Tina Marie J. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well. I'm still taking it day by day, but I can honestly say that I'm doing a lot better than I was before. So, yes, I'm very, very grateful. Very grateful for that. So, um, I know I'm not spoken about cults in quite some time. I am not going to be speaking about the cult that I was in because I said that I will no longer speak about the ICOC, but there are still many cults out there that do exist. And I do still kind of have like a, I wouldn't say a passion, but um, I do enjoy learning about different cults because I find it fascinating how they all work and how it really can just kind of manipulate you in such a way to where you become so brainwashed that you believe what somebody else is telling you. Like someone can actually manipulate and control us without even touching us, it's crazy. They can really get into your head. So I have this cult that I've been following here and um, the cult's name is Carbonation and they are uh, a cult that I can't honestly tell you what the hell these people believe in because they kind of flip flop back and forth all the time. But um, but they are a sex cult and they started off as nudist, uh, but now they like to cover themselves up and consider themselves modest for, well, the women at least. Uh, this cult does consist of both men and women and they are a pretty large group. Uh, currently, they're divided, like half of them are out in Mexico. They're, well, they're not that large, they're not huge, but some of them are out in Mexico, and then the rest are um, here in the States. So this cult started back, this is just a little quick background, which, listen, guys, I'm sorry. If I sound tired, I, I apologize. It's late, and I'm like, I'm getting sleepy, but I really was dedicated to get this done. Um all right, so this cult started in, in Honduras back in 2016. Again, the name is called Carbonation, but they did begin with the name Melanation. So Melanation is their previous name. Uh, when they first started, they were really into veganism, living in nature. They lived in tents outside. And um, they, like I said before, were nudists. They believed that you, know, you don't need clothes and all of that stuff. And they also uh, claim themselves or like to portray themselves as being all about black lives and black love and, you know, uh, uh, all about black liberation. But really, I have a friend who who does a podcast and he even says it. He He's like, matter of fact, let me see if I find his podcast. I'm going to look on phone right now. Um, he even says it. He's like some of these people are actually trying to you know they they try to praise black love black this black that black unity but they're the very ones who are breaking down the black community and i completely a hundred percent agree with that i want to find my friend on here so i could tell you guys what his podcast is because he speaks a lot on issues like that in case you're into things like that all right, but let's see, let's move on along. All right, so the leader, his name, his real name is Eligio Bishop. Um, people do call him Nature Boy because of the whole nature aspect and you know veganism and all of that stuff. Uh, but Eligio Bishop is his name. But within the group, they do call him Baba G, they call him Chief. And uh, now he goes by three God or three. Oh, I have no idea why. I he let me just let me just continue following my my little talking points and keep my opinions to myself until the end. Okay, so Eligio is actually a former sex sex worker and stripper. So yes, ladies, you probably went to Chippendales and saw him, and he probably danced for you. So um, he supposedly is from New York, but New York is not claiming him. No, we are not. 
but he also claims to be from Jersey. So uh, I think he had grew up in Jersey and then he spent some time in Harlem, probably like in his 20s. So that doesn't count. All right. So Ali Hill was actually married before he became a cult member and started his own cult. He was married. He had a wife whose name is Maisha, and he also has a son with her. Uh, and actually, I think he has, I think he has like three sons with her, I want to say. And uh, he beat the crap out of her. Uh, it was a whole big thing. He, you know, the cops got involved, but she didn't want to press charges. She wanted to, you know, help him and be there for him as, you know, typical abusive situations tend to go before the woman or the man finally, you know, gives up and says, forget this, like I'm out. I'm not accepting this. I'm not your punching bag anymore. Uh, but he definitely beat the shit out of her. There's videos of like, not videos. There's like, well, there's videos of her speaking about it, her being interviewed uh, by other YouTubers about the situation. But there's like pictures and her face is all swollen. It's really heartbreaking. It's really, really sad, it's terrible. But his, his, uh, his entire uh temperament it's like he, he he's out of control like this guy cannot control himself whatsoever um so after that uh not after that situation but after that relationship of him he would you know was very abusive very controlling and manipulative he decided to start his cult and decided you know what because he used to cheat a lot i need to be with multiple women i need multiple wives and that's when he started this cult and so now he feels he's entitled to every woman in the world and entitled to every every wife that he can possibly have which to me is absolutely insane that uh he could think that highly of himself i think i just heard a mouse I try not to freak out i have mice in my apartment it's like in my entire building and they don't bother me but i don't like it when they're close to my feet you know they run by it freaks me out like they done got too close all right <clears throat> so let's move on along move on along and by the way if you are enjoying this video or if you're just interested in my content in general or you just happen to like me and you come over often please make sure you do give me a thumbs up give me a like uh it does help in the algorithm so that uh, it can push my videos out Okay, so I would definitely appreciate that. Also, don't be afraid to share any of my videos and leave a comment if you have anything you would like to say. All right, so this call actually lived in multiple locations and they also were kicked out of multiple locations, including Panama, Costa Rica, and Nicaragua. I can never say that name right, Nicaragua. Nicaragua, Nicaragua. It's like my mouth won't form the correct way. But anyway, they also lived in Hawaii and were arrested as like a complete group because they were not following the orders when it came to safety protocols. And this was in the beginning of, of the pandemic. And um, so, yeah, so they have a lot of issues with a lot of different uh, countries, apparently not liking them. And I don't blame them. That's what they get, you know, going all over the place, trying to break all different type of rules, thinking you run places like you can't do that. You're disrespecting somebody else's country, someone else's home. All right. So this group, in order to join this group, you have to basically sell your soul. You have to. And I, I honestly think that you kind of do. You have to give up everything. So um, not only do you have to give up all of your money, your bank accounts, your um, if you have any kind of stocks or bonds, if you know, whatever your savings, your credit cards, your um, your PIN numbers, you have to give up your passport, your medical information for whatever reason. I don't know why, but uh, according to his wife that married him in the cult, who's no longer a part of the cult, she had to give him 
her medical information. And he required this like at the door, like as soon as you arrive, uh, the other guys in, who are in the cult will go and take your bags upstairs to your room and we'll go through your stuff and we'll make sure that they take all the stuff that they ask of you in order to be here, including the money. And that's basically how you join. Uh, but not only that, you also have to leave behind the most the most important and valuable uh, parts of your life, pieces of your heart, which is your family, your loved ones, and your life itself, and yourself. Yourself, you have to say goodbye to yourself. You have to completely lose yourself because, after all, you do not matter. No, you do not at all. Uh, in a cult, you do not matter. It's not about you. It's about whoever you're serving, whether it's the leader or the God that the leader claims that there is to serve. Um, so uh, when it comes to carbon nation, a lot of the women who are his wives, sadly and unfortunately are also mothers and they were mothers before they ever met him and joined this cult and they had to leave their kids. They didn't have to, let me take that back. They didn't have to, they chose to leave their own children behind and they left them behind with their family and, um, Alihio doesn't like for people, for women to bring other children in from another relationship into the group because of the simple fact that uh, Nature Boy, nature I'll just call him Nature Boy because I feel more comfortable calling him that than Alihio. Nature Boy leader. Nature Boy, he feels that every woman has to love him, has to find him attractive, and has to want to have sex with him and have babies with him. And his mission and goal is to have as many wives as he possibly can and to impregnate each and every one of them. And then he wants all of the children within the cult to sleep together when they get older and keep growing the cult. It's very disgusting. He's also been accused of being a pedophile because of things he said, which I personally believe as well from based off of what I've heard him say, which I will not repeat. Because again, honestly, like if you guys really want to learn about him and know about him, um, all you got to do is go on YouTube and type in Nature Boy or Carbon Nation. A ton of videos, like a ton of it. Videos posted probably two hours ago was up right now about him. It's like a big thing um, in that particular sector. Um, but I do have some videos down in the link, uh, the description box. I have some links to uh like about two videos you know i i i it's a big trigger for people so it's up to you if you're interested if you want to see it or not or if you want to see more you could take that upon yourself you know but uh but yeah i have like some links there you could check out and you can really get a a more in-depth uh illustration of exactly what it looks like within this cult and but i'm just warning you it is a trigger warning so if you don't feel comfortable don't don't watch anything that has to do with him or if you feel like your soul and your peace will be easily disrupted at this point you're very easily triggered i do not suggest that you um watch him not right now at least all right so let's move on along Let's move on along. All right. So, yeah. So, yes, these women do leave their kids behind. They leave their kids behind and they don't speak to them. They don't visit them. None of that. And this is very common in a lot of cults. A lot of cults, people will join a cult and you will never, ever hear from them again, you know, or you may hear from them once or twice in the beginning just so that they can pop up and say, hey, I'm here. And that's it. But you really realistically will not hear from uh from your loved ones again when they do join a cult because once they're in there they're in that's usually how it goes but at least in very uh, moderate to extreme cults i feel that that's that's how it tends to go uh all right we already spoke about his recent arrest right he was recently arrested on different um, accusations. He was denied bond two times. And so now people are praying to the golds. We are praying to the golds that his ass stays exactly where his ass belongs, rightfully so. All right, so let's speak a little bit about the beliefs of this cult, the beliefs. Honestly, the beliefs of this cult is very confusing to me because like I said before, they go back and forth a whole lot, like a ton. 
Now, after I go through the beliefs, um, I'm going to cut it off and just make a part two video where I'll talk about the cult leader's traits and the traits of the cult. And then we'll also get into a little article that I found because I think it's important to really be able to see the similarities and the differences of all cults, not just very extreme or very chill, but all of them, all of them throughout the spectrum. All right, so um, one belief that we know for certain is that they do believe in polygamy. They do not believe in monogamy. They believe that women are to serve men, that the black man is God, and that black women are to basically um, give up their entire existence for the black man. So they have to wait on the black man hand and foot, and the black man is allowed to degrade and abuse and misuse the woman he's with. He's allowed to have as many women as he wants. And um, within this cult, the women tend to be ping pong back and forth. One minute, uh, one woman will be with him, then she'll be with him, then him, but it's never her choice. It's always the choice of the leader of Nature Boy. Nature Boy chooses who uh, these couples are. He chooses who the women end up with. And when he feels like the couples are bonding too well, or like there's any feelings coming up, or like a lot of the attention is going within that relationship and it's not coming on to him because as a true narcissist on the extreme level, um, he needs a lot of attention. He's like a child. He needs a ton, shit ton of attention. So he will get jealous. And then that's when he takes the woman back and he claims her as his own wife and will say, this is my wife. This is my possession. These are my possessions. And I can do whatever I want with them. And if I want them back, I I'll take them back. And if I decide I don't want her to be with you no more, even though she had a baby with you, she's going to come with me anyway. And so there's a lot of sex within this cult. And, um, Sadly, because there's so much sex and unprotected sex with this within this cult and no one goes to the doctor and gets checked out or any of that, there's been told by ex, a lot of ex-members that there are multiple diseases roaming through and I a million percent believe it. All right, so another belief is that Elihio Bishop is God, God, Jesus in the flesh, <laughs> insane. Uh, so yeah, so they do believe that he is their God. They will sit there and proudly claim, oh, this thing scared me. They will sit there and proudly claim him to be their God. Uh, I don't understand that. And I really don't think I ever could understand it. But any any group that ever claims themselves to be of any super high importance and significance that is beyond you is clearly a cult, clearly. It's, it's just, just assume, just assume, just assume you are a cult. It's like the number one sign it's a cult, honestly, because all cults, or most cults, most cults, because the one I was in, it, it wasn't like we had a leader who was a god, but the leaders of the church were treated a lot more higher, more above, and that's simply just really all it is. Uh, okay, the next thing is uh, veganism, but that's sometimes. They believe that we should only eat from the earth. We shouldn't go to doctors. We shouldn't uh, go to dentists. We shouldn't have medication. Everything should be grounded within the earth. I mean, I believe that that is true in a sense and healthy, but the whole avoiding the doctor and all of that, I don't think is smart. I don't agree with that part at all. Uh, but again, they do not follow what they preach. This is all just for show. Another belief that this group has is, uh, well, it used to be a nudity, but apparently now all the women like to adorn themselves in uh, these beautiful pieces and headdresses, and they like to cover themselves up, and they continue to uh, pretend to be something they're not, and now all of a sudden they're all these modest, uh, what do you call them, modest, classy women, you know, very, we're modest, we have modesty, it's just fake, it's just fake, because you, you, you know, you're modest, but then if you go on their Twitter account, they have all of these uh, porn videos, of which I was shocked when I saw that Twitter actually allows that type of content, but apparently they do. But um, it's just they don't follow anything that they preach. They really don't. They don't follow anything that they preach at all. And um, 
there's a lot of cultural appropriation going on. Like one minute they are Native Americans, and next minute they are a Muslim, and then they're Hindu, and then they want to be uh, these vegans who are spiritualists. And then all of a sudden, you know, they go from, oh, we don't approve of Babylon and we don't do the job thing and we don't wear regular clothes and we don't smoke weed and we don't drink alcohol. We don't party. And then all of a sudden, that's exactly what they're doing. They moved to Georgia. They left. Uh, they were in Puerto Rico for like a year and then they moved to Georgia and then they started, you know, partying it up and doing all the things that they said they weren't going to do. So like I said, this is a very inconsistent call, which kind of just like makes me scratch my head and wonder how people could follow them because it's like hard to take them seriously. You know what I'm saying? It's not like they really follow, like they're constantly changing up the things that they teach and preach. And that's not usually what cults do. But aside from that, everything else they do is very similar and familiar when it comes to other cults. All right, so another thing they believe is that Babylon is going to one day fall. They believe that Babylon is, which is uh, the government, is going to one day fall. And whoever uh, is here in Babylon, whoever is has a job, whoever is doing anything that has to do with the government, whoever uh, believes in anything that has to do with the government or goes to school or any of that stuff and is not out in nature with them, is not going to make it to the kingdoms of heaven with all of its riches, which apparently Nature Boy uh, has full control over, which to me is insane that these people believe that. But again, this is just how cults work. I don't know why, but that is just how it is. That's how it is. Um, all right, so lastly I have here, their beliefs are inconsistent. Okay, and I already spoke about that. Their beliefs are very inconsistent. So it wasn't very easy for me to like really pinpoint what the belief is. They do believe in some sort of a knowledge. I forget what it's called. Um, they The thing is that the knowledge that, that he teaches, the knowledge that he teaches is not his own. It's something that is basically uh spit out by him it's not he didn't come up with it i i don't really remember the exact name of um it's like a type of science he believes in some type of a science but it's, it's like it's a freaking i should have wrote it down it's a name for it i just cannot think of what it is um i think it's called the five sciences he calls it but uh, i don't know i feel like you know what if you need to really follow somebody that badly you know, I mean, you need to follow them so badly that no matter what they say, you're just going to take it. You're so vulnerable to the world. Like you literally have no, I'm sorry, it sounds terrible, but you have no future because you're so vulnerable to anything anyone will tell you. You you will completely fall completely off track. You could be on the perfect track in your life and then someone will come and just like deter you and throw you off because you listen to them, because you, you believe what they said about you or you accepted them, you tolerated them, you know, and it's just, it's just sad because that's what these cults do. And a lot of these people are like, I don't care. I'm going to stick by this person. I'm going to stick by my God, by my leader. And it's like, all right, cool, do that. But you really have no future. You're just busy following and chasing behind some other idiot, you know, who is is has mental issues. Someone who, in my personal opinion, this guy is evil. You know, he's evil. He has a lot of evil intentions. And this cult is an extreme. This is a case of a very extreme and dangerous cult. But that is all I'm going to share right now. I will do a part two video where I will speak more on the traits and also um, I will share from an article that I have found and we'll speak on the similarities and all of that of the different cults regardless of how extreme or how uh, more laid back it may be. All right, I really appreciate you for watching.